Welcome back, everybody, to the Shadowcast. This is Samco, and we're back in Rust. And if you watched our last episode, um, I kind of alluded to the fact that we were going to be talking about blueprints today uh, and blueprint fragments. So where I want to start is... I want to start with showing you um, what you can find in game. So what you'll find in game, and you'll find them in barrels, you'll find them in boxes, um, you'll find them in airdrops, different places, you're going to find these. These are blueprint fragments. It says scrap the various blueprints, collect 20 to construct a blueprint, or 60 to create a blueprint page. Um, so basically, it's just little torn corners of blueprints and things, and after their thinking is, is after you'd have enough torn corners, then you'd probably be able to make a whole blueprint of something. And I love this system. I don't know whose idea it was, but it's great. Um, so you'd need to have 20 of these blueprint um, fragments to make this a blueprint page. Um, so the blueprint fragments, um, we're going to go over exactly what, why you would want to save these to make pages, to make books, to make libraries. But we're going to do that after I explain each one of them. So the blueprint page, um, it's made from 60 fragments, right? So you have 60 fragments and then you get a page. It says bound together. Uh, blueprint scraps, you can reveal an, an uncommon blueprint or collect five to create a blueprint book. So this just says that you're gonna re that you're gonna reveal a blueprint. Okay. This says you're gonna reveal an uncommon blueprint. Okay. So you have enough of those um, enough of those scraps you can actually put together a specific page. Um, to be able to to be able to make this, which will give you an uncommon item, and it says, or you can collect five of these pages and create a book, which would be this. So it says, a collection of uh, blueprint pages. You can reveal a rare blueprint or collect four to create a blueprint library. So this is a common. The uh, Blueprint fragment, common, rare, or sorry, common, uncommon, rare, and then if we save enough of these books together, we can break, create a library, and then we're going to get uh, a large collection of blueprints. You may be able to find something within these pages, and this is going to be the very rare items that you're going to be able to find so that you can learn uh, the blueprints to be able to craft these things. So for, for anyone who's never played Rust before, you need to find blueprints, learn them, right, so that uh, you can uh, be able to craft all the different items in the game. When you first come into the game, you have very basic knowledge. You can make very basic items until you learn these blueprints to be able to um, increase your knowledge and be able to make uh, better equipment. Your blueprints um, stay with you um, on that server. And they had talked about making it to where it would stay with you on your account. So if you went to another server, you would you would already have that knowledge. Um, I don't think they actually implemented that. It's just with that server. So even if the server clears the world and starts over, you still maintain your knowledge. Okay. So let's talk about we've got common uncommon, rare, and very rare. Um, so let's look up and see what that entails. So here we're at the Rust Wikia, and uh, they do a good job of explaining all these things. Uh, so this is the common list, okay? Uh, so it says these blueprints can be found very easily. They can be obtained from the above locations 
or by using uh, blueprint fragments. So above locations would be airdrops, barrel crates, and rad towns is where you'd be able to find these things. And that's with any of them, the, the blueprints or, or loot. That's, that's where you're going to find it. But this is important because blueprint fragments. You can make a large furnace, a large wood box, machete, medical syringe, pistol bullet, salvage sword, sandbag barricade, stone spear, wood armor, pants, wood chest plate, or wooden floor spikes. And that's it. That's it for the blueprint fragments. So my strategy that I would use um, is I would go ahead because blueprint fragments are pretty prevalent. If you go out and just collect, you can get quite a few pretty quickly. Is just collect just the fragments. And once you get 20, reveal it. Once you get 20, reveal it. 20, reveal it. Each time until you can check each one of these items off the list. Okay. Once that's done, then start saving them and then make your blueprint pages. And this is what you can get with the blueprint page. It's an uncommon drop. Uh, these blueprints are less common than the common blueprints. That's probably why labeled uncommon, but these blueprints are less common than the common blueprints, but are still common, more common than rare and very rare blueprints. They can be obtained in the above locations, which we've already discussed or by using a blueprint page. So we've got a lot larger list here. I've lost the arrows, last one, okay. So you can get the acoustic guitar, explosives, hatchet, uh, improvised baklava, uh, large med kit, mining quarry, pump jack, revolver, riot helmet, salvage deck, salvage sword, salvage hammer, small oil refinery, <coughs> snap trap, survey charge, stone barricade, lantern, Crossbow, bed, hazmat jacket, hazmat pants, hazmat gloves, wooden sign, 556 five, rifle ammo, snow jacket, black, uh, bone armor uh, pants, bone jacket, bean can grenade, bucket helmet, boonie hat, and the high velocity arrow. Quite a few more items that you can learn how to make um, with those blueprint pages. So that will take you a little bit longer to go through and check all those items off of that list for your character. Um, but again, I would encourage you to do that. Um, save, do all your blueprint pages, do all of these things, um, and then move, move on. Um, once you've moved on, you've got all your blueprint pages learned, go down to your blueprint book. Um, it's the rare items. These blueprints are less common. Then the common blueprints, but are still more common than the very rare blueprints. These can be obtained in the above locations or by using a blueprint book. So let's go through the list. 12-gauge uh, buckshot, 12-gauge uh, slug, bucket helmet, coffee can, helmet, explosive, 5.56 five, ammo, 5 <laughs> F1 grenade, hazmat helmet, hazmat jacket, hazmat pants, um, high-velocity rocket, huge wooden sign, uh, high velocity 556 five, ammo, high velocity pistol ammo, incendiary 556 five, ammo, incendiary pistol, incendiary rocket, landmine, long sword. There's a long sword. Hmm. Well, look at that one. Oh, okay. Nice. Let's go back. Da, 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 da. So, let's see. Long sword. Mace. Metal barricade, miner's hat, pickaxe, shotgun, rocket, salvaged cleaver, salvaged ice pick, semi automatic pistol, snap trap, snow jacket, black, snow jacket, red, and the Thompson. So you can see things get better. And then we're going to go to the very rare. So once you have all those items, now you're now you're done with the books, you're going to go to the blueprint library. These blueprints are the hardest to obtain. They can be obtained in the above locations or by using blueprint library. And you're going to get most of your guns. Assault rifle, bolt action rifle, custom SMG, metal chest plate, metal face mask, rocket launcher, timed explosive charge, silencer, high external stone wall, and auto turret. Um, so these are what everybody's going to go after um, eventually. So, And just remember, while you're out collecting all those fragments to get all these pages, to make all those books, to make these libraries, you're going to be finding these blueprints themselves too. They haven't taken that out of the game. 
It's just made this a supplemental system of how you can take care of uh, those situations. So um, there are other, there's another use for these uh, items. So if you find, let's see, let's say this. We've got the bolt action rifle, right? We're going to put it in our research table, and it's going to say chance of success, 30%. Here's the thing. What it's going to do is it's not going to take that rifle from you. It's just going to break it. So it's not going to be usable. Um, there's a way of boosting your chances. It says put your fragments in here, and I want to test this out. I haven't done this before. I want to put this book in here. Okay. Doesn't do anything. Let's try this book. Nothing. A page. Nothing. Some fragments. Nothing. All right, let's try something else. Let's try giving myself 100. All right, so now we've got 112. Let's see what happens. Let me put those in there. Wow. So, 112 fragments um, only boosted at 7%. Wow. Hmm. So, from the looks of that, only the fragments are going to be what's going to be able to use. And, man, you would need a ton. But the research table helps because you're going to be beating your head against the wall once you get to those last few items in those lists and that's all you need and you keep getting everything else so what you can do is you can make a research table you can put the item that you need because if you find it in the world like I found this um, bolt action rifle I can't make them but I found one so I'm gonna put it in here I'm gonna take instead of making all those pages I'm gonna put it into the research table and I'm gonna go ahead and just research that specific item until I get it. So let's try. So put this in, begin research. You can see the health is completely full on that item. About three more seconds. And you hear the breaking sound. Um, so the item stays here. It's still there. I still have that gun, that bolt action rifle, it's just I didn't learn it. And I've all my all my uh, blueprint fragments are now gone. So but what you can do, of course it's night time. We'll go ahead and fix that real quick. Let's take this to another. There we go. So what I can do is I can step right over here. Let's open up. A repair bench put this in 150 wood 15 high quality metal so what you could do is you could take and I don't have enough wood There's not enough wood there anyway you could repair the item go right back to the bench try your chances again repair back repair back repair back and as far as I know you can keep doing that rinse and repeat until you actually have success so that's what I really wanted to cover today was uh, in this episode was the blueprints and blueprint fragments and what you can do with them. So we got a few minutes left. So I think what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm going to go ahead and drop that. I spawned those in just to show you guys. So let's go out and let's see. How many blueprint fragments we can get in the next five minutes? So, go back uh, again. Our base is really close to this. Uh, our goal is to make ourselves uh, a decent base there, and then we're going to uh, make a town around this uh, oil structure and um, 
we're going to then make it into uh, <laughs> our version of Thunderdome. So um, for people who don't notice uh, or don't know this, um, these are new. You can get loot from them. I'll go ahead and take that food because I'm going to starve here in a minute. Um, you can find blueprint fragments, normal loot in them, just like anything else. The red barrels, you're not going to find anything in except for crude oil. Blood in a trash can, that's nice. Hmm. We had... There we go. Yeah, we had last episode, we had started cooking some of that fuel. Blueprint fragment. So we got six there. Um, hmm. I thought this would have led inside. It doesn't. I'm wasting a lot of time. So we need to get up and in, which is over here. We got three minutes left. Hopefully we can, oh goodness. Hopefully we can find more than six. That'd be kind of disappointing. Nine more. And there's another blueprint we'll save for the town for my other players. Ugh. I'm so gonna have to do something about this. It drives me crazy. Makes me hurt. There's a ladder there. Down. Ah, twenty there. Thirty-five. Enough for a, to reveal a blueprint. Nothing. I don't see anything down there, so we're gonna waste our time. And you know, there's areas where it's it's not quite so difficult to 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 get uh, up and around, and you could do this a lot faster. Rad towns, uh, different things. Let's see if I can make this jump. No. <laughs> that was pathetic. <sighs> I did make that jump. I made that one. Good. you can see you know it's they're pretty prevalent I mean you're gonna be able to find these things pretty easily 13 more 
I've almost got enough for a page already. Like I said, we haven't been doing this very long. Oh, I'm asking for trouble. I don't think I'm going to do that. Oh, made it. Let's see if we can get back to the top. This is how we ended our last episode. Maybe we can end it that way again. So, that was the timer to say the episode should be over. Let's see if we can get to the top. What do we got? A landmine. Landmine blueprint. See, that's what I mean. You're going to be able to find these blueprints while you're looking for these fragments. It's not going to be that difficult to go through. Now, I also understand that I'm on a server that has nobody on it right now but me. Um, so, you know, I'm not getting shot at. They shouldn't even put a torch in one of these boxes up here. It's another 13. Or this. A bow, an arrow. It's just, there should be better loot up here. Bean can grenade. There we go. Okay. One more box. And we got another C4. So, there you go. I mean, we've got 76 right now. Um, blueprints and we did that in about six minutes and that was climbing all over this so just think how many you might be able to get if you were just running breaking barrels or going through a rat town it would be a lot easier for you to do so i hope you enjoyed this episode i hope it was informative i hope you learned something about the blueprint system in rust uh if you did please uh like comment or subscribe love to hear some feedback from you all and uh, we hope to see you on the cogamers.net servers. Until next time, see you later.